Hello, welcome to Coding with Indy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a radial progress widget using Flutter Canvas. I'm going to start from scratch and walk you through the whole process. No need to have any third-party libraries. It's quite easy, you should be able to follow along. So let's create a new Flutter project by typing Flutter Create into the command line. And once you have the project, jump into the project folder and run dart migrate. This gives null safety. Null safety makes your app more robust by removing spurious nulls in your app. The compiler is able to check the code and tell you at compile time where your code needs corrections so it won't crash at runtime. Let's open the main Dart file and clean things up. So now we have a basic material app scaffolding and in the home property, we will just put a placeholder container. Now we're gonna define radial progress widget. It is a stateful widget and then we will attach a custom painter class to it. Radial progress widget will receive a percentage value that we will animate and draw on our custom painter canvas. So in the constructor, it receives this value from the callers. Uh, here I will simulate this process with a static value called percentage. Now we are setting up the constructor and let's remove this annoying debug banner. In the radial progress state builder, let's set up the custom painter to call the radial progress painter. Radial progress painter is derived from custom painter class. and we will implement two methods and just so that we can make sure that everything is wired up correctly, we will paint the canvas red. Great, that seems to work. Now let's draw the percentage as an angle uh, and represent this with an arc. So we will compute the center of the canvas in C and we will create a rectangle to contain the arc. We can set up some constraints like this. Radial size represents how large the progress arc would be. Next, we set up the start angle. Usually in Flutter, angles start at right center, but we want the angle to start at the top center. So this has to be adjusted by 90 degrees. Then the sweep angle is the progress angle. 
currently we pretend the percentage is given in angles, uh, we will convert to radians like this. Uh, next, we define a paint object with stroke and thickness. All these will be used to draw the arc. All right, so that draws the arc. So we can change the percentage and it will draw the arc to represent the angle now. We will fix this to take actual percentage values from 0 to 100 in a short while. Uh, now we will draw the guideline so the users have an idea where they are in, the, in a circle. This is simply a matter of drawing a circle. I choose a grey colour here because it shouldn't be too prominent. So it draws a filled circle. We can quickly change that to stroke, but it seems like the circle is bigger than we expected. So let's draw the rect we used for the arc just to debug. Okay, it seems like I made a mistake with the dimensions of the rect. Quickly fixing that, we have the guide circle in the right place. We can remove the rect drawing now. Now we will animate the percentage. We will need a variable called value and then a ticker to update the value. So we can create a periodic timer and in the update callback, we increase the value until the desired percentage is reached. Remember to dispose the timers, otherwise when you navigate away, app will crash. We need to update the value inside the set state callback. Next, we will 
draw text to show the percentage value. For this, we create a function called draw text centered. It needs a bunch of parameters. If you have seen my previous videos where I draw text, I use this function a lot along with measure text. So it's a standard. If you want to know more about text drawing, have a look at my previous videos and also I have a small ebook on Gumroad if you'd like to support the channel. Anyway, let's use the draw text centered function like this to draw the text. We now have to define text style. Mm, the text seems to be off the center. Let's quickly fix that. The position needs a little adjustment depending on the text paint size returned. Great, looks good. Now let's fix this percentage value. We can do that in the draw arc function. And just a small scalar so that value from 0 to 100 maps to angles between 0 and 360. Let's do a few checks to see if we got it right. Yes, it seems fine. Now we're going to create a micro animation for the percentage hitting 100. We can set micro animations for any stage like 50%, 75% and so on. But here I'm going with the big one 100. So here's the grand idea. I'm going to have a ring of random particles eject from the radio when the percentage value hits 100. So for that, we need to define a particle class. Let's quickly do that. So this class needs a value called orbit. And also we want to save the starting value because we will reuse the particles. The easiest way to generate particles along a circumference is to use polar coordinates. This is very easy. We need just uh, the radius given by orbit value and an angle given by theta. In the animation, our particles will have a fade effect. This is done with the opacity value.
let's create a get random range function uh, to help us get a value within a range. So here we get values between 0 and 360 for theta. And for opacity, we get values from 0.3 to 1. And we can assign a color here as well. Now in the radial progress widget state class, we will create a list of these particles. It can be done like this. The orbit should be at the edge of the circle we already drew for progress. So let's use radial size for now and see how it works. Uh, let's wire up so that the particles can be drawn. So the painter class constructor has to be changed like this. Let's create a small function called draw particles. It looks like this. The point is that we will iterate the particles list and draw a dot. For the position, we need to convert the polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. So the conversion function looks like this. This is simple geometry and algebra. Great, now we need to rebase these uh, particles to the center of the canvas. Uh, that's done by adding C. Let's set up the paint object while we are at it as well. Okay, good. It draws the particles, but they are in the middle of the ring. So let's adjust the orbit to get them on the surface. Cool, that would do. Now we need to think about animating these particles. Let's create a function in particle class to update them. So what we will do here is to increase the orbit value slightly so that it has the ejecting like effect and it should also fade out while ejecting. This is done by reducing the opacity by a small amount. When the opacity hits zero, we will reuse the particle by resetting the orbit and opacity values.
So we will call update in our timer callback. So here, once the value had reached percentage, we will start animating the particles. There's a little bug here, I will fix that now. And now the animation should work as expected. Mm, the colors are so let's make it pretty. Here's a bunch of colors I made earlier. and let's put a radial gradient on the background. Before that, let's make sure that we only draw the particles when the value hits 100. In the draw background function, let's create a radial gradient. And for the foreground, let's do a linear gradient.
And that's all there is to it. The animation is subtle and it is supposed to be. For UI, large and obnoxious animations are a turn off. For added effect, you should limit the animation duration. That can be done by giving the particles a lifetime and, and only reuse them, let's say, three times. Don't just copy pasta, experiment and create something different and awesome. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. Please take a few seconds to like, share and subscribe to the channel. That will give me a good indication whether to continue making this type of videos. If you have questions, please leave a comment. I will do my best to answer. Until next time.